Okay, so if I asked you to evaluate this expression here, log base 2 of 16 plus log base 2 of 8, without a calculator, what would you do? Um, I would have you get to the argument to the same root. So the same base. Yes. So 2 to what power is 16? And 2 to what power is 8? 3. So I can rewrite it like that. <clears throat> so what is log base 2 of 2 to the 4 equal? 4, because the bases match. Plus, the second one is 3, which is 7. Okay. If I ask you to do the one right below it, <clears throat> you do the same thing. 16 is 2 to the 4. 8 is 2 cubed. What do you do if you're multiplying with the same base? What do you do with the exponents? So I get... What does that equal? 7. Seven. They're the same. Okay. <clears throat> so that means if you're adding logs together, that is the same as multiplying the arguments together. All right? I mean, we could do the same thing for this. It's the same numbers. So when you're subtracting... Which is 4 minus 3, which is 1... What's 16 divided by 8? Oh, no. 2. two. I'm going to write it as 2 to the 1 equals 1. They're the same. Okay? <clears throat> All you need to remember, and they will be given to you on a formula sheet, or I'll just write them on the board, but we're going to use them so often, you need to know how to use these two rules are this. The product law and the quotient law for logarithms. So what they say is, if you are multiplying two arguments together within a log, that is the same as adding the individual logs. Okay? <clears throat> and if you are dividing two arguments within a log, that is the same as subtracting the two logs. Okay? I just want to point something out that students kind of mess up on every year. This does not equal this. Okay? This is different than this. Does everybody see that? This is two logs being divided. Okay? That does not mean you subtract the logs. It's only if the arguments are being divided. Okay. Don't do this. Okay. That is not a true statement. <clears throat> All right. So what this is going to allow us to do is to take multiple logs and either put them together or take a log and expand it, depending on what we have. What we want to do in the equation? Yes. Yes. Not logs. Yes. Okay. So the first one we're going to put we're going to simplify these expressions. So we are subtracting, which means what do you do with the arguments? Divide. I know you said that. <laughs> So that means it is equal to that, all right? And if these bases are different, you can't do it. It's only when the bases are the same, okay? What's 12 divided by 3? Can 4 be written in base 2? 
What's my answer? All right. B. If you are adding, what are you doing with the, uh, first of all, are all the bases the same? Yeah, they are. Six, six, six. All right. The arguments are different, but the bases are the same. If you're adding, you are what? Multiplying. And if you're subtracting, you are? So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do it in steps. You can go like this. Nine times eight minus log six times two, or six to be, of argument two. And then the two, because you're subtracting it, goes to the denominator. Or you can just know that whenever you are subtracting something, a log, sorry, not anything, but if you're subtracting a log, that argument will go to the denominator. Okay. And then you just simplify this. What's nine times eight? Divided by two. <clears throat> what does that equal? No. It equal. Well, just tell me the final answer. Sorry. Two, right? Because six squared is thirty-six. Yes. Is that okay? Are we okay? Yeah. That means all of this equals two. This is these are just numbers, right? They look like they're not, but they're actually just numbers. It's like four plus five minus one. Yeah, it's a more complicated way of writing those numbers. That's all it is. Yep. No, okay. Literally the question, so log is pretty much just uh, finding simple numbers with exponents. Sure. For now. For now. <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> now we got this expression. We have to combine log base x of 10, log base x of 75 minus blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, are all the bases the same? Yes, they are. They're all x. Doesn't matter that we don't know what x is. Who cares? They are all the same. If you are adding, you are? So these first two will give me, what's 10 times 75? Minus, and then do what's in the brackets. What's log base x2 plus log base x3? Uh, well, I'm doing what's in the brackets. I'm simplifying what's in the brackets first. Log base x of 6. <clears throat> okay. Now, when you are subtracting, what are you doing? So it becomes log base x, 750 over 6. What's 750 divided by 6? So it simplifies to that. <clears throat> for now, for this one, you can't do anything else. Now, for B, they say evaluate it if x equals 5. So that means I plug in 5 for x. <clears throat> Can you write 125 in terms of base 5? Yeah. What power? Three. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I don't. All right, next one. Simplify this expression. Go.
Simplify this expression. Yeah. All right, are you done? Whoa, that was a. You ready? I did it two ways. <clears throat> so, first way, the easy way, if you're adding, means you're multiplying. So, two times three, boom. Anything that has a subtraction sign in front of it just goes in the numerator or the denominator. Okay? Are you allowed to multiply or discriminate if you're subtracting that from each other? What? Yeah, because I'll show you why in a sec. So, 2 times 3 is 6. Over 48, that simplifies to 1 8. Okay? That's one answer. The other way to do it is you can do this first, which means you're multiplying those together. So, you got log base 6. Log base B of 6 minus log base B of 6. Those, if you're subtracting, that means it's 6 over 6, which would be log 1. Log of 1 is always 0, and you're left with negative log B8, which is the same as this. Okay? And the reason you can multiply the 6 and the 8 is because I can think of this as minus, I can take a negative out. Like that. The simple way is anything with a negative sign in front of the log goes to the denominator. Okay? <laughs> All right. Can I do the next part, B? This is where you'll see that these are the same thing. Shh. If we make B2 on, on this one, I'll get negative log 2 of 8. 2 to what power is 8? 3. Negative log 2. 2 cubed. So that becomes 3, but there's a negative in front, so it's negative 3. If you put it into this one, shh. Like that, I have to flip the fraction. That's a two. And I get two to the negative three, which is just negative three. You get the same answer. It doesn't matter how you do it. Okay. We okay? Yeah. Uh, can you wait? I'll do it after I finish the lesson. Okay. Okay. 
Shh. All right, next one. Simplify this. Ask yourself, are all the bases the same? Yes. Yes, they are. They're all base two. They want you to match these. So they have left the log y by itself. Okay. So don't combine the log y. That's the choices here. So we just need to combine these three. If you are adding, you are. If you're subtracting, you are. Dividing. So in one step, you can go log base 2, x times 2x. We have a negative sign in front of the log, so we drop that down to the denominator. You could, but if you look at the answers, they all have the y, log y in the end. If you didn't know that, you would put it all together. But just because it's a multiple choice question, they don't want you to combine it. Okay? So now you have to use your exponent rules within the log. What's x times x? What happens to the x squared? What's log base 2 of 2? 1. That's all they wanted you to do. Okay. <clears throat> Is that okay? All right. Mm. I'm going to do the next bit and then uh, <clears throat> yeah. All right. We're not doing this one. Skip to the next page and I will write all the log rules up. Top. Okay. <clears throat> so here's your sort of mini proof. I'm putting proof in quotes here. We're going to show that 2 log x is equal to log x plus log x. All right. So just focus on this bit right now. If you are adding them, what are you doing to the arguments? Multiplying, so that means log base 10. I'm going to write the 10, even though they don't have it, of x times x. What do you do with the x? What is x times x? Um, Okay, so I get to that point. Now, this one, 2 log x, is that the same as? Because it's like 2 apple, 1 apple plus 1 apple equals 2 apples, right? Like these are common terms, so that means I have two of them. So if I've just shown that this equals this, and then I took this and I said, well, that equals that, and then I said this equals that, I've essentially said, I'll write it over here, 2 log x is equal to log x squared. Does everybody agree with that? Did you follow that logic? I just wrote it. I don't know why I wrote it, honestly. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'll write it, sometimes I don't. But if it's not written, it's assumed that it's base 10. So, Okay. 
if you accept this, what is the rule to go back and forth here? What can I do with this exponent here? Yes. This two can drop down in front of the log, which is the power law of logarithms. If you have an exponent on the argument, you are allowed to drop it down into the front of the log to there. Conversely, if you have a number in front of the log, you can move it up to the argument. Okay. So, things like this. Log base 4 of 16 to the power of 12 become easier because 16 to the power of 12 is some massive number. Exactly. I can drop the 12 down like that. Okay. Which then I can rewrite the 16 as the power of 4 squared. And then what does all this become? 2 times the 12 there, which is 24. What's the answer to B? Sorry. What's the base if no base is written? So essentially, if I wrote a 10 there, what's the answer? It's 21, right? Because the base is matched. This is the same as this. You can drop the 21 down if you want, but. If you have an exponent on the argument, drop it down in front. That's this. You don't have to. It depends on what you're doing. Why what? Because this bit equals 2, right? But then there's a 12 in front that's being multiplied by all that. Yeah? No, because what's the exponent on this 10? Well, there is. It's 1. So it's 1 times 21, which is 21. Right? It's like a 1 there. Okay. You can accept that? Thank you. All right, peoples. Here are your questions. One to three. Five. Oops. Nine. Oh, I forgot six. Six you need to do. I know. All right. I know. You got all weekend to do it. No, you got 20 minutes. Go! What's this like the power?